Just for today, April 11, a closed mind. A new idea cannot be grafted onto a closed mind. Open-mindedness leads us to the very insights that have eluded us during our lives. Basic text, page 93. We arrived in N.A. at the lowest point in our lives. We just about ran out of ideas. What we needed most when we got here were new ideas, new ways of living, shared from the experience of people who'd seen those ideas work. Yet our closed mind prevented us from taking in the very ideas we needed to live. Denial keeps us from appreciating just how badly we need new ideas and new direction. By admitting our powerlessness and recognizing how truly unmanageable our lives have become, we allow ourselves to see how much we need, what NA has to offer. Self-dependence and self-will can keep us from admitting even the possibility of the existence of a power greater than ourselves. However, when we admit the sorry state self-will has gotten us into, we open our eyes and our minds to new possibilities. When others tell us of a power that has brought sanity to their lives, we begin to believe that such a power may do the same for us. A tree stripped of its branches will die unless new branches can be grafted onto its trunk. In the same way, addiction stripped us of whatever direction we had. To grow or even to survive, we must open our minds and allow new ideas to be grafted onto our own lives. Just for today, I will ask my higher power to open my mind to the ideas of recovery. Just for today, April 11th. On to Matt's gratitude text and I have a surprise at the end this Sunday morning I am grateful for being sore from yard work yesterday and the pains involved in clearing away old dead debris that hinder growth when raking and clearing away leaves it opens up the ground below to receive sunlight air and nutrients that the grass and flowers need to be healthy the fourth step and steps as a whole deep conversations waking up not fixated on the measurement of time but an appreciation of the moments that aren't measurable the power of genuine laughter not being dejected when my plans don't work out and taking it as an opportunity to do something else recognizing that sometimes my reactions to situations are more important than the journey itself and are the journey. Eating healthier and the ability to create tasty meals, less and less bad moments occurring in my mind and emotions. The more I seek good in God and practice the principles of the program, the quote by Johann Wolfgang Van Gogh, you can easily judge the character of a man by how he treats those who can do nothing for him. The good shared energy and pride that comes in doing the right things, giving of myself, and contributing to society in a positive way. Now that's some good stuff. And for the surprise, um, which is, I'd like to introduce you to... Uh, a channel that I found uh, very watchable concerning recovery and sobriety. Two ladies with the channel of On the One for the Road. It's a podcast talking about uh, recovery. Uh, their names are Judy and Marissa. They're a fun pair to watch. They do a great job discussing the topics. I've got. Um, a few of the thumbnails for their videos, they have one, some of the topics are emotional sobriety and addiction, traveling and addiction, how do you know you're an alcoholic, 
which if you look in my description, I have a link to the, uh, I believe it's 10 questions, uh, where you could see if you're an alcoholic based on what we believe. And then lastly, they have one on pain, uh, medication, and addiction recovery. I'm blessed to have run into them uh, after seven or eight months of doing the Just for Today. You know, I have some other ideas for it, which is uh, members of the community sharing on the Just for Today in a weekly podcast with my friend Matt. And then we'll take it from there. I've discussed doing this before. However, um, I didn't take action. So I'm looking forward. Judy and Marissa are going to pick one of the just for today's in the next week. And and they're going to share on it. And we'll continue to support their channel because I've learned a lot in uh, just a few days I come across it. So thanks, Judy and Marissa. We do recover. And we'll end it at this, just for today, April 11th.